vegan food just yet. Get ready for today's three minute grill. That's right, we're making a dish both dedicated for vegans and those wanting to try something different. Owner Linda Lehovic and Chef Karen Sherwood are with us from the Dancing Dog Eatery and Juicery. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Sure. Thanks for having us. So tell us what you're going to make for us today. Okay, so today we're going to be making a bowl. Um, we have bowls, uh, a bowl of the week on our menu, uh, so it rotates every week. Um, and today we're going to be doing a white bean, um, white beans with kale, or sorry, with spinach and mushroom, roasted mushrooms, roasted Brussels sprouts. Um, Very good. So it so, looks like we're just putting everything in a pot to start. So off. right now I'm going to start the white beans. So we're doing white beans, carrots, onions. And garlic, mm -hmm. a little celery. So, um, yeah, celery, um, and then some of vegetable stock that I made in the restaurant. Very good. We're gonna start this first because this will take about an hour to cook. Mm -hmm. um, throw a little pepper in there. We're gonna start that first, um, and then while the beans are cooking, we can roast our Brussels sprouts. Um, so we can just throw them on the pan, throw some seasoning on here, Very good. a little bit of garlic, and then just kind of sweet. And as you're doing that, Linda, tell us about Dancing Dog for people who might not have sure. gone there yet. Um, what do you have on the menu? Well, we have a variety of items. They are all vegan, which means no meat, no dairy in any of them. But we try to have a range ranging from healthy to maybe more comfort food a little less healthy. Um, so we have things like a Reuben oh, um, wow. made out of seitan, which is a, a meat substitute made out of wheat or gluten, actually, um, wheat gluten. Yeah. We also oh. have things like a pasta alfredo. Uh, we have various, we call it a vicin, a vegan chicken patty, <laughs> um, sandwiches, burgers that are obviously not made out of meat, they're faux burgers. Um, and then we have our bowl of the week, which is more on the healthier side. And every week Karen comes up with a new mix of flavors, which are always, every week yeah. someone comes in and says, this should be your everyday bowl of the week, it has to stay. <laughs> um, they're that good. And you know, like for people wanting to try something new, I don't sure. know that they're used to hearing the words vegan and comfort yes. food in the same sentence. So how do you, how do you exactly. keep coming up with new things to, to keep it interesting? Well, it's, you know, these days it's actually not that hard. Although Karen's a genius, so I shouldn't say that. <laughs> we, have, we have it easy with Karen, but um, you know, there's a lot of faux things these days. There's a lot of different kinds of faux meats. There's different vegetables, like mushrooms often take the place of meat because of the texture. Mm -hmm. um, there's even cheeses these days that are, like we make two cheeses in house that you would not know. Really? Are not regular cheeses. They taste wow. like a goat cheese and a mozzarella. They melt the same way. They're wonderful. So there's lots of, like people are learning more and more how to make um, all the parts that go into a comfort food in it, just out of plants. Awesome. Interesting. Yeah. All right, we are going to check back in with you in just a few minutes to see the finished product. I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Thank you both. Thank you. We'll be right back.